Twin brothers Brian and Nick Wolf are award-winning, world-renowned artists known for their fast-paced face and body art techniques. They have worked with Universal Studio Florida and have contributed to face painting publications. They have published several step-by-step -step face painting cheat books for creating monsters, animals, and children's images, which are available at eviltwinfx.com and sillyfarm.com. They conduct face painting classes as well as full-day workshops at convention and trade shows. Brian and Nick were named World Champions at the World Body Painting Festival in 2009. In this video workshop, Brian and Nick show you how to paint a fiendish skull step by step. So basically, I'm shading this black. I'm going on top of the shapes that I did with this, this blue-green. And I'm going to all the places that I just want to make it deeper. So, you know, in the in the color wheel, the lighter colors look like it's closer to you and darker colors look like they're further away. So as the, the dark greenish blue looks farther away, as I, as I shade the, it in with black, and they look uh, even deeper still. Now those parts of the face that he wants to make look like they're really standing out, like those cheeks and the, uh, the chin and the, the front of the forehead there, He's going to add a little bit of white on top of those to make them look like they're popping out even more. But he's trying to get as much of the skull done with that sponge as possible before he goes in with his uh, brush. Um, that's, that's kind of the, the fastest way to do this thing. And as you can see, it's, it's already looking pretty good with just the sponge. Uh, and we really rely on that tool to, uh, to add texture to our face paints to get it as close to what that, you know, the finished product that we want to get to uh, before we go in with our brush and that just makes it easier. It covers more, uh, more of the face quicker. And he's giving it a nice, nice border, nice thick rim around the skull, really changing the shape of his face to make it look more angular, to make it look more emaciated, uh, to give it a real cool, cool looking effect there. You can especially see it, you know, on the side. It's a great effect, uh, especially on camera when the, uh, when the painting's brought back to the second dimension. And there's that, uh, that white highlight I was talking about, picking the places on the face where it's the absolute brightest yellow and putting a little bit on a little bit of white on top and he's he's tapping it on there using that sponge as kind of like a stipple sponge uh, to not only to give it uh, some texture but to to break up that highlight a little bit so it's not so harsh so it doesn't look painted um, the more more stipply this this skull is uh, the, the the more difficult it looks, you know, like like you really spent a long time painting it. You know, you could tap that sponge a few times and get, you know, uh, 10, 20 dots with every tap. So you can really look really looks like that he spent a lot of time on the thing when uh, when it's it's a real quick technique to get going.